it's brunch time, baby. Here in Las Vegas, there are so many different locations that have some amazing brunches. Some of them are all you can eat, some are really fancy, and some are straight up parties. Now I did do a video like this about two years ago of the most popular brunches in Las Vegas. But you already know Las Vegas has so much more to offer and it's always growing. So here's some more options that you can't miss. All right, let's go to the first one. So we are here at Viva. I have featured this place once before in my lip smacking foodie tour video. If you wanna see what's on the dinner menu, make sure you check that video out. And make sure you use the link in my description if you wanna book that lip smacking foodie tour. But today we're gonna to check out their brunch menu. I did come here once before for their brunch and I thought it was so amazing that I couldn't wait to make another video like this just so I could feature it again. Okay, let's go get some food now. Oh look, we got the exact same table as last time too. So of course Viva is Mexican food, which is one of my favorite cuisines. And I especially think that Mexican breakfast is amazingly delicious. Like it's definitely one of my favorite breakfasts to get. So of course it's not gonna be brunch unless we get a cocktail. Man, they have so many different options here. And of course being a Mexican restaurant, I definitely wanna get something with tequila. Now from the Lip Smacking Foodie Tour, I do remember that they had some amazing margaritas. So I kind of wanna go ahead and give the rest of them a try. Can we do the Viva flight? Absolutely. I may have gone a little overboard, but it is brunch. I mean, you know, you go to brunch, you end up getting bottomless mimosas. And yes, even though this isn't technically bottomless, I mean, I feel like one could have five margaritas. This is the one that I remember specifically. This is gonna be their Viva margaritas, of course, is lime. And then right here at the top is gonna be their sea salt air foam, which is like, you know, very foamy, of course. This is such a good house margarita, and I love how they even took the detail to put some lime zest at the top. Next, we got a watermelon one, which I think is gonna be my favorite favorite because I love watermelon. That was very refreshing. So far that's my favorite. Next is gonna be their mango margarita and it has a little tahini room right here. Oh my god. The tahini is making my mouth water. Wow. That is so good. Definitely very tropical. Mm. Next we got their spicy cucumber with a tahini rim. Let's see how actually spicy it is. It is a little spicy, but I think I can handle it. I think. And finally right here, they have a passion fruit margarita. Oh, this is so hard. They were all super good, but I still think the watermelon margarita is my favorite. But which one do you think would be your favorite? So we're gonna go ahead and start off with some seafood. So this is our tuna tostada, and I was like in shock the moment they put it down. Like, look how beautiful it is. Like, all all the ingredients look so fresh. So for this tuna tostada right here is gonna be topped off with heirloom cherry tomatoes, chile morita, and a cashew crema. And then on the side right here, they have one of my favorite toppings ever. This is salsa matcha right here. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm not even sure what's in it. I just know it's probably a whole bunch of like roasted chilies on there, but it is so good. It's like one of the best things that you could put on any of your Mexican food. I do know that it's made out of cashews though. Whoa, dang. So imagine, of course, you're biting into a tostada, but then on top of that, they have like a sushi style grade of like tuna. It almost tasted like, like it had a little bit of lime. And then of course you have like the freshness of the tomato. Oh, it was so good. Of course, a little bit of spice. And then this just made it better. I can't get over this guys, wow. Mm. I know it's like an appetizer, but I don't think I would share this with the table. Ooh. Oh my Lord, look at this French item. Mm. So this is their Viva Benedict, but it's Mexican style. So of course right here we have two beautiful poached eggs topped off with Honday sauce. And then right underneath right here is gonna have barbacoa, which is braised beef. And right underneath it, so they say it's like a masa patty. So it's really kind of like a tamale that's just been like pressed down to be kind of like the plank for this eggs Benedict. It's so beautiful, I don't want to destroy it, but we're gonna add a little bit of everything right here. It really just tastes like I'm eating like a barbacoa tamal. And it just happens to be topped off with an egg and then the hollandaise sauce. All these flavors together, I mean, it really does feel like I'm visiting my grandmother back in Mexico. These look quite delicious. So there's the corn tortilla chips, sunny side up eggs, ranchero salsa, and queso fresco. Ooh. Mm. Oh, there's beans in here too. I do feel like adding the beans in here kind of changed the whole flavor profile in there. The sauce itself is very thick. I almost feel like it tastes like a little bit of chipotle in there, but overall, it's like a little bit of spice. And I love ordering my chilequiles with sunny side effects. Like all that yolk in there, like mixed in. Oh, my poor sugar levels. So we have two 
amazing desserts right here. They look so good, guys. This is the tres leches, and it's like decorated so beautiful. Like I love how it has like the cake, then there's layer right here of like raspberry. Even all the fruits right here at the top were like layered very beautifully. And then there's like milk right here that he poured as a tres leches mixture. So it's gonna have condensed milk, evaporated milk, and then regular milk. Scoop up a little bit of that milk. Ooh, yum. So the cake itself isn't moistened until you dip it in the tres leches mixture right here. You can make it as moist or as dry as you want. <gasps> oh, look at these churros. Like you can tell these are house made right here. They are so beautiful. Ooh. All right, let's try them guys. Gotta dip it in the chocolate, y'all. Oh my God, woo. I didn't even need to bite it. Like the churro just kind of came apart. Whoa, that is such an airy churro. Mm. Even without the chocolate, like this was amazing by itself. It really is, again, like so airy. It has like the perfect amount of like sugar, cinnamon. Dare I say, these are better than Disneyland churros. No, they really are. You guys have to come. Like, even if you don't want to get a full meal, a whole brunch, at least come for the churros. Oh my God. So if you guys do want to come and give Viva a try, it is going to be on Saturdays and Sundays for their brunch from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And they have such a big variety. You don't just have to get breakfast items. I mean, they have so many other items, so many lunch items, so many salads, tacos. All of it itself is so good. Give it a try, guys. You'll love it. Okay, brand new day. This time, we're gonna do all you can eat. Let's go. I am ready. So today we are now at the Wynn at La Cove. I know it looks like La Cave, but it's La Cove. So here at La Cove, they have a very different brunch style. They call it butler style tray pass brunch. So just like it sounds, they are gonna have different people coming around with trays with different food. And if you do like what you see, you can just go ahead and grab it and put it onto your table. It is $54 for adults and for children's 12 and under it is $34. And you do get a 90 minute limit. So again, they're gonna be passing around different selections. And if later on there was something that you really liked, just ask your server for that specific item and they'll just go ahead and get more over to your table. It's kind of cool. It's like hors d'oeuvre style, but table side. And if you do want to see what's on their menu, just go onto their website and they will have all the items right here. So that way you know what you're getting before you show up. All right, here comes our first one. All right, so we got our first selections here. They came in pretty fast, actually. So this first selection I want to show up here is their cream cheese pancake, which is so cool because their pancakes are made out of ube. Looks like they have a little bit of sweet cream right here in the middle. Should we do syrup? I should do syrup. Not gravy. Comment below if you know what I'm talking about. Oh, those are so sweet. Let me try with this little thing at the top. Well, wow, that's like real mash ube right here at the top. Nice. Moving on to some French toast. Also putting syrup, not gravy on it. Oh, oh crunchy. I like how it's like super crunchy on the outside and then very fluffy on the inside. Okay, a little bit of everything. English muffin, steak, and some egg. Ooh, nice and creamy. I would order a full size of that one if I could. Ooh, and you get a lot of steak right here. Next, we're gonna try the scrambled eggs. It's not brunch without eggs. Got a little bit of caramelized onions and tomatoes here at the top. Oh, I like that. I never thought about putting like tomatoes and caramelized onions on my eggs. That's a good idea, I like it. Okay, round two. Ooh, this one smells so good. It's truffle guys truffle mushroom grits no wonder it smells so good oh my god so soft and so creamy and you can definitely taste and smell the truffle Ooh. i'm definitely getting seconds of this one. Oh my god mm. i'll be back for you all right we have a lot more next we got the cinnamon apple waffle that's a cinnamon smell that does not need syrup at all like the apple itself is like good enough for the whole waffle apples are super soft that's a Snickers pancake. Has caramelized bananas foster. I can see why they call it Snickers pancake because it does have a little bit of chocolate right here at the top. So of course it is brunch, so it's not just breakfast options. They even have wings. It's spicy. Oh man, the food comes fast here. I think the restaurant itself is really beautiful. I mean, they have different rooms, like they have the dining room area that's more towards the inside. And then they have this really cool area right here where we're sitting, where it's kind of like, you know, has a view of the pool. And whenever it's like nice weather out, they 
actually open up these windows right here and you have an open air concept. And overall, I feel like I'm sitting like in the middle of a garden. I really love that for only $55 per person, you get all this food. I mean, it almost feels like you're at like a sit down buffet, but then just like the food comes to you instead. And besides the food being bottomless, they also do offer a bottomless French libations. And I say libations because it could be anything from wine, beer, sangria, and even cocktails. And you can mix and match that if you wanted to. You don't like just have to stick to sangria or cocktails. We got short rib hash, y'all. Oh my God. That's like so juicy and so flavorful. Definitely lots of spices in there. Wow. I'll be back for you, sir. And we have a chicken sausage link right here and then apple with smoked bacon. Ooh, bacon. Take this middle bite right here. Come on guys, it's bacon. It's delicious. Thank you. Oh my God. So much. If you left hungry from this place, you didn't do it right. Ooh, this is warm. So we got the New York egg sandwich right here. We got Canadian bacon, gruyere, tomato aioli, and a Kaiser roll. Ooh, it's like sweet. So they have two types of flatbreads right here. We have the tomato mozzarella flatbread and a bacon and egg flatbread. Ooh, it has capers. I never thought of capers as a pizza topping. Let's try it actually. And how cool, this is the quail egg right here. Wow, I really like the cheese on this one. We're gonna get through this, guys. We're gonna get through it together. Ooh, nice parfait. I didn't show it in the beginning, but as soon as you sit down, they'll actually bring you like little pastries right here. Look at them. Ew. Oh, I think this is the one that has the chocolate on the inside. Ooh, that's flaky. Ooh, and a Danish. This is good too. I think we've got it all, guys. It's gonna be my dessert. This one right here is the baked potato loaded tater tots. Got some bacon, mozzarella, and sour cream in there. Oh, and brown gravy. Mmm, tater tots. Can I get some ketchup? Ooh, heirloom tomatoes, my favorite. I'm probably my dessert. Wow, guys, there was a lot that we went through. They have such an assortment, anything from like healthy foods, savory, sweet, rich foods. Some of my favorites that I would definitely ask for again, I mean, I would probably get the cinnamon apple waffle, the short rib hash, definitely the truffle mushroom grits. Oh, and definitely the filet mignon eggs benedict. All were so good. And guys, you can ask for seconds. Sir, can we ask? New day, new brunch outfit. For our next brunch place, we do have to cross this bridge to get there. Best brunches are in back alleys. Now we just gotta take an elevator. Just be aware that they do have a dress code, you know, so show up nice. Oh my God, guys. Tell me what other brunch place you can go to that's gonna give you this amazing of a view. So we are now here at Ocean Prime, which is brand new, it literally just opened. We are here at Building 63. We're kind of right in between the Cosmopolitan Hotel and then the Crystal Shopping Center. So all this area is brand new and of course this being their brand new restaurant. Right before they opened, I was invited to their preview nights where I got to try so many dishes and the moment I tried it, I was like, this has to go in my brunch video. So this is gonna be kind of like steakhouse, but they also like serve sushi and of course, they also do serve brunch on the weekends. So if you do want to come get brunch here, it's going to be on Saturdays and Sundays from 11 a.m. till 3 p.m. And it is summer, so we are one of the first ones here, so it doesn't get too hot. A moose moose for you. It's going to be some cold brew, some gin, some quancho, simple. Tastes pretty good. And this comes complimentary when you come for brunch. Ooh, my lord. Great way to wake up in the morning. And they do have a non-alcoholic version as well, just in case if there's any people that don't drink. Can we do the citrus rhubarb mimosa? It's brunch, we need a drink. So this is our drink. It has the rhubarb, fresh orange juice, and dried curacao. Oh, look how pretty it is. It's really good, it's like a really nice sweet mimosa. They have plenty of other really cool brunch cocktails, but a really cool one is their mimosa bottle service. It's gonna come along with a bottle of Piper High Stick Champagne, along with fresh squeezed orange juice, guava juice, and a pomegranate hibiscus. Buy champagne. No champagne for us. So this is the perfect place to have a classy brunch. You get such an amazing view here. I mean, you're gonna be able to see everything on Las Vegas Boulevard. I mean, you get the Cosmopolitan, the Paris, Planet Hollywood, Harmon Square, some of City Center, and of course, all the hustle and bustle down on the street. I got a few different plates here that I just had to show you. They all look so good, but we're gonna start with this one right here. We're going fancy. So this is their lobster toast. 
This is a toasted brioche that is smeared with avocado spread, topped along with lobster claw and the tail meat and a sunny side up egg. And along with these greens here. Oh my God, this is heavy. It's all the lobster meat, guys. Like, look at that. It's, it's even done right here. I'm gonna make a mess. I'm sorry. There's a drip. Oh, shoot. No. This is really good. I mean, the avocado spread. Oh, I taste the peas. So the reason I say that is because the avocado spread is made from avocados, pea puree, lemon, and salt. I just wanna show you guys how much lobster, there. look at that, oh my God. You really do get like a full lobster right here. Well, probably not, but <laughs> no skimping at Ocean Prime. So this is their truffle omelet made with four eggs. So yeah, you're gonna get your protein in. It's also made with heavy cream, roasted cremony and shiitake mushrooms, sauteed shallots, garlic Swiss provolone, camembert cheese, arugula truffle vinaigrette, garlic croutons, asparagus, and roasted tomatoes. And then a little bit of truffles right there at the top. This I'm gonna need my knife and fork. Mmm, ooh, it smells like truffles. Oh, that's so cheesy. This is a really fluffy omelet, guys. And I love all the mushrooms in there. That was so nice. I'm still stunned that this is a four egg omelet. And the amount of truffle in there is perfect. And look at this one, guys. This is their Crab Cakes Benedict. So beautiful. It has English muffins brushed with fish butter. This is have the Crab Cakes Hollandaise sauce, along with some paprika and chives. Mm -mm -mm. That hollandaise sauce. Oh, you can definitely taste like all the lumps of all the crab that's in there. I mean, Eggs Benedict is already such a good brunch staple and to add in crab into it, that already made it 10 times better. Mm. All the plates were very amazing. They had some really good brunch selections and also they have some lunch items if you don't feel like having something that's breakfasty. You have the option of sitting either inside or outside and the inside area is very beautiful. I mean, I love their ceiling. Kind of has like a little starry effect to it. They have two different bars, one in the main dining room and then another one that's gonna be a lounge which is gonna be more cocktail based but you could definitely have food there too. Whenever you decide to home, you're gonna have an amazing time at Ocean Prime. I am leaving so full from this place. So as always guys, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends, and comment below. Tell me which of these brunch places you would come eat at. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. <laughs> the eggs look like boobs. You know, being Mexican, I mean, I definitely want to get something with tequila. What? <laughs> being Mexican. <laughs> Be, yeah. Well, being a Mexican restaurant. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's not Shit, <laughs> I keep breaking. <laughs> Go ahead and tear the egg now. Oh, it's so loud. The corn torch. Uh, I feel like they put the volume back up, huh? It's kind of cool. It's like Ordorf sweat. So <laughs> God. This was French toast, right? Ooh, bacon. <laughs> what is this? It looks like a corn nut. Like a really big corn nut. Oh. <coughs> Not joking, I swear. <laughs> they just have no shirts on. <laughs> And they do have a version that doesn't come with alcohol too, just in case you got any kids in the kids. So rhubarb is an orange flavor liqueur. No. No, what is rhubarb it? Rhubarb is its own thing. I don't know. Okay. Rhubarb is a fruit. But what kind of fruit? It's, it's a fruit. Though. I don't <laughs> know. It has English mu- Along with fresh squeezed orange juice, guava juice, and pomegranate chinato. What is that? <laughs> I've shared with your friends and comment below. Tell me which of these brunch places you would have. <laughs>